Monday and I just got back home from work but I have an apartment viewing to do for a client so I'm just gonna go do that and I'll come back home I'm officially tired for the day and I'm hungry but yeah we move we have to keep pushing so this is one of the houses that I came to check and you see that backyard like it's really really close to U of M and so a lot of students are able to walk to school that's one of the advantages of using our services because we get you the very best so like if you're a student and you're looking for accommodation just you know reach out to us send me a dm and we're more than happy to assist you with all your relocation needs um yeah so i'm just here i'm waiting for the landlord to come show me the place because i know a lot of times they will send me pictures and all of that but i don't settle for just pictures because you know sometimes it's a case of what i ordered versus what i received so even after they've sent me pictures i still ask you know i schedule a viewing and then i go you know see the place myself so like in a lot of times i go see the place myself Myself. I do videos, I take pictures. On a few occasions, I'm able to do a video call with you know the person I'm checking a place for, and they're able to see the place as well. So, yeah, that's really how we roll. Like, we're not settling for nonsense. And of course, in as much as I know it's the person's decision to make, I also want to ensure that you know I'm offering suggestions and you know sharing useful tips, right? Because that's why we are here. So, yeah, definitely reach out if you need you know accommodation services, airport pickup, whatever you feel would make your life easy you know in terms of relocating we're here to help you out um so yeah i'm just here in the car and i'm waiting for the landlord to come and once they come i'll view the place i'll probably take you guys along with me we'll see how that goes so yeah once they come i'll view the place and i'll probably head back home i'm so hungry i literally just got off work i just got home because um based on the timing you know the appointment time i had you know a few minutes to get home i was gonna you know book an early appointment but i'm like you know sometimes with traffic you can't even predict so i was like okay let's just play it safe and i booked the time that i was sure i would already be home so i just had enough time to go home drop my bag and really like go out so that's what we're doing right now so i'm just waiting and once they come see the place go back home and yeah but yeah honestly um ask me your questions send me messages you know please like this video honestly subscribe share the video with your family friends anyone you feel like would you know find this helpful also we're available similar set of mb is your plug for all your relocation needs okay 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 don't forget um yeah i'll check in with you guys later bye i just saw uh, the oh the three of them oh okay then there's another one I don't know if you can see, I just went behind the tree. I'm still waiting 10 minutes later and I'm just here waiting for the landlord. <laughs> I'm so tired and I feel the biggest thing for me is I'm hungry. <laughs> because I would have eaten before I came, like... Anyways, we're waiting, so yeah. Oh! I, I'm just like, you'll see these guys. <laughs> I'm just walking around, those strolling. I cannot come back here, safe, have you? Yeah. Anyways, check in with you guys later. Mm -hmm. So I was able to, you know, finally view the unit. Uh, normally when I go, I'm looking around, I'm asking questions. I look for anything that looks, you know, fishy or anything that looks weird. I also ask the landlord's question to, you know, get to know them and also just to see if it would be a good fit you know for who i'm checking for because a lot of times the landlords are the ones doing the interview to know who they're renting to but me being the middleman i also do that to ensure it's a good fit we also understand that people have different budgets and you know expectations and so we work with all of that when checking for a place for someone the person that i was checking for you know gave me a budget and with the budget that they gave me the you know apartment or what we could find was a room in a house and they were totally fine with that which is why i came to check this out the good thing about this unit is that it comes furnished so if you were renting this out you would you know rent it out and you'd get the mattress the study table and chair and i feel like that's a big deal because you know you really want to reduce you know your expenses especially when you're moving and so just knowing that you don't have to purchase new furniture is you know already a lifesaver i would also like to mention that not all you know apartments are furnished you know most standard apartments are not furnished but when it comes to some of these shared 
apartments, a lot of times the landlords, you know, would provide the basics, you know, at least some would provide a mattress and then you have to purchase your study table and chair yourself while some provide all. Okay, so just check when, you know, looking for a place. In a previous video, someone asked how to get accommodation and how to get, you know, shared accommodation. And honestly, it's not a, you know, one size fits all. Normally, I check online, I check, you know, Kijiji, I check Facebook Marketplace and, you know, those are some of the places where I'm able to find, you know, accommodation for people. So you can definitely check those websites out. I'll put their names in the description and you can check it out. But, you know, a lot of times those landlords want to see someone. So it might be a little hard, you know, if you're not currently in Winnipeg. So yeah, definitely reach out to us and we can assist with that process. Here, the landlord was just showing me the, you know, building at the back. And he mentioned that that was a building from the University of Manitoba. And so it's really, really close to school if you're looking to stay near the university of manitoba there are lots of apartments available so just keep your options open and start checking i always advise people to start checking at least one month early you know just so you're not under pressure and so you can find the right place for you again if you need assistance with this definitely reach out to us we're more than happy to help you out but if you want to do this yourself you can check out the websites i mentioned earlier i'll list out you know a lot more websites where you can you know try out you know in the description box so definitely check that out i'll be doing more apartment and room tour videos so if that's the kind of content you're interested in definitely stay glued to this channel because i'll be bringing more videos your okay way. so this is the neighborhood and yeah i think it's really nice apparently he was inside but the wife messaged me saying can you wait for my husband and i was just in the car sitting here and he was inside the house <laughs> Anywho, I'm done viewing the place. I'll try to show you some clips of it. That building is one of the buildings from the University of Manitoba. So really good, really close to school. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go give my client feedback. I'm going home to go eat. And yeah, I think that'll be it for this video, guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. But until then, stay safe and stay blessed. Bye.